What's good with my people? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Marlon, the messenger, 777. Fix my jacket real quick, fellas. Hey, hey, hey. All right, you guys. So hopefully you guys are feeling blessed and not worried about the stress. Today is another beautiful blessed day, my guys, that the good Lord has blessed us with. All right, you guys. So hopefully you guys are feeling blessed and not worried about the stress. Today is another beautiful blessed day, my guys, that the good Lord has blessed us with, man. So welcome to all my new subscribers and viewers on the channel. Welcome. My name is Marlon the Messenger. I'm your host to the most. And this is a channel where we talk about the spiritual aspects of life, the physical and the mental, and of course, financial. Because our main goal on this channel is to motivate men across the world to be masculine and to follow your dreams, follow your goals, kings, because you are a king while you are retaining your seed. Now, fellas, I wanted to go ahead and jump right into this video, man. The females have been going crazy lately. Now, I know a lot of us men are scared. You know what I mean? We're in our beta mentality. You shouldn't be talking about women, Marlon the Messenger. That's not right. Even though God made a man to be masculine and a woman to be feminine, right? That's the two that goes together. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to have a strong energy and a more softer energy intertwined. That's why God made the woman for a man. You know what I mean? A woman came from a man's rib. So with that being said, fellas, I'm trying to motivate y'all men that it's a lot of lonely men out here. You know what I'm saying? There was a statistic that stated 80% of men are committing suicide nowadays. You know why? Because loneliness leads to insanity. Fellas, get up on your grizzly. Start getting busy. Start taking care of yourself. Start getting that glow and women going to follow you everywhere that you go. You know what I'm saying? Don't listen to these beta male cucks out here, man. You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be doing that. Bro, she want an alpha. She want a sigma. She want a man with a plan and she want to meet you where you land, a hundred grand where you stand. You know what I'm saying? Like speak it into existence. There's power in your words. There's either life or death. So guess what, Kings? We got to keep our foot up on their neck. We got to stay on our path of not only righteousness, but getting good results, you guys, because this world out here, bro, it ain't no joke, bro. It ain't no joke. You know what I'm saying? So we got to come out here and we got to penetrate our goals. We got to come out here and how to do, can, you know what I'm saying? Like a street fighter and really get it in. You know what I mean? Ain't no time to pretend. It's time to get it in. You dig what I'm saying, fellas? But like I said, Kings, on this journey, the women going to be throwing it at you like no tomorrow, bro. Like yesterday, we was inside the store, right? And it was it was a couple. I don't know if they were married. I don't know if they, but I know they were together, bro. I'm talking about a tall glass of lemonade, bro. Thicker than a snicker. I'm in there just minding my business, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I know the women know I'm glowing from a mile away because they can smell them pheromones, bro. And that's the topic of this video. Women can smell the pheromones on you on semen retention bro the pheromones was bussing bussing and the discussion she was trying to come in and i could see little shorty blushing you know what i'm saying so he's standing next to his lady his baby mama his wife whatever she is right and um it's crazy so i'm over here about to go get a car wash but uh, i wanted to go ahead and turn on this camera fellas um you know what i'm saying while i'm in line or whatever so, um, it's crazy because, let me move up, y'all. I don't want this dude to take my spot. Because if he do, you feel me? I'm going to I'm gonna have to pull out and regulate on this, on, on this fool, man. But anyways, so, hold on. So, yesterday, there we go. So, yesterday, Kings, right? And fix the camera so yesterday right i'm in the store this woman can smell my pheromones busting from halfway from halfway across the room bro so he's standing in line with this tall glass of lemonade right she thicker than a snicker i'm not gonna even lie y'all cutie with the big old booty you feel me 
and we're men, you know, we're masculine. We can express ourselves, not bottle up our emotions, our feelings, fellas. That's why on semen retention, you're going to have confidence through the roof. You know what I mean? And she can smell these pheromones busting because women are spiritual, fellas. They know what time it is. That's why they can manipulate the average Joe next door so easily. Like this little beta, you know what I mean? I felt bad for him because I used to be this guy as far as thinking that this little princess could never do that to me. Wrong. Little shorty trying to shake it in the thong. I'm trying to be real, bro. So I'm standing in line, right? Minding my business. Already when I walk in the room, he already give me that look like, you know what I mean? Like, like as if I did something wrong and I'm just like, bro, I know you can see me glowing from halfway across the room, but bro, I don't want your shouting. Even though she looking at me like she trying to get naughty. You know what I'm saying? She look at me and she just like, like eye candy. You know what I'm saying? Like she just like, God damn, this nigga, this, this king right here, his pheromones is busting because she can smell it from a mile away fellas trust me so i'm standing in line i got my things my items and i'm ready to go up and pay for my stuff right so he's standing here i'm standing here and i'm looking this way at the cashier his lady is standing like this close to me right but like facing him and oh honey woo, 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 la, da, 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 right and i'm just like oh okay whatever and i'm just facing that way bro all of a sudden she's like doing anything to get by me and like make an excuse for a honey look at this but like as she's showing it to him and i'm facing this way bro she's getting closer and closer and closer bro and her butt was so big like it was like literally this close to me bro this close to me in my mind i'm like bro what type of what's going on that we live in a society where a woman has her man so whipped that she can get this close to a man that she's attracted to and him not say nothing. You know what I mean? Like, that's insane to me. Because if that was my woman, I'd be like, hey, baby, get 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 on this side. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to have a backbone as a man, bro. But I mean, can you blame her? Can you blame her if you can't tame her? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it was so crazy, though, because I told my coworker, and he from Wisconsin, but he came from Louisiana. I was like, bro. She was so close to me that I was like thinking in my head, if her butt touched me, I'm finna tell her, man, hey, man, say, man, if you don't get your little shouty, man, she gonna have to pay me 40, man. If you don't get your lady, man, she gonna have to pay me, man. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, this ain't for free. We work so hard to retain our seed, to grind, to become the prize, to become the top 1%. You know what I'm saying? Because... It's less than 1% of us men out here retaining our seed, Kings. Here's a good saying. When you have the best, every woman wants the cow that has the best milk in town. You dig what I'm saying? You in the land of milk and honey. You know what I'm saying? The land of milk and honey like it's raining money. And the women can smell it from a mile away. They know on a subconscious level, they smell the pheromones busting from a mile away. And they gonna want you at the end of the day. So it was just, man, it's so crazy. Cause I'm like, damn, bro. Semen retention changed my life, Kings. Changed my life. Now, I never had a problem getting women in my life, but on this level, it's just, so, it hits so different, fellas. Because if you do it the right way, semen retention is gonna transform your life and change your life. But on a side note, I want I want you fellas to remember that stay prayed up in these times too, man. It's a lot going on across the world. You know what I mean? One of my coworkers told me yesterday that they about to start drafting, bro. They are about to start drafting men to go to war. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's World War Three, World War Four, World War Five. I don't know what war we own, but we know that they, the the elites, are always profiting off of these wars. You know what I'm saying? Because the devil loves to kill, steal, and destroy. That's why we got to stay prayed up against these demonic entities, fellas. Because that's what they are, demonic as hell. Like I see, bruh, over here, bruh, little uh, little dude over here driving. You know, a nice little whip. He washing his car, bro. He got a shirt on with the Baphomet, bro. And then, you know, the little goat with the yiddies and the half man, half woman, man, whatever the hell that shit is. Wicked and disgusting. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't care what you do, but damn, like, do that sh somewhere else, bro. That's just disgusting. They over here sleeping around with animals and licking on bears and sticking it in a little kitty cat and rubbing on a dog. Like, come on, bro. That's just disgusting, bro. 
nasty, man. Why can't you just be a normal human, man? And just like the opposite sex, you feel me? But it's wickedness, you know what I mean? In high places, like the Bible say. But yeah, bro, this dude had the bow for man on the shirt. Then he had a tattoo on the back of his neck, bro, with a barcode, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, damn, bro, it's crazy how semen retention will also give you this discernment, this awareness, like, damn, bro, all you got to do is just sit back and you can see the wickedness out here. So that's why semen retention is especially important too, fellas, because it's going to help you stay on the path of righteousness. Now, you're not going to be perfect. But you are going to live a righteous life. You are going to be able to come out here and take care of your business. And you're going to see the fruits of your labor, man. You know what I'm saying? Nipsey Hussle said it the best. A lot of cats are in survival mode. So I don't blame y'all. You know what I mean? When I came home two years ago, I didn't have a car. I didn't have nothing. I didn't even have a job yet at that time. I was out here sleeping around with women, selling drugs, selling packs, getting racks, but always broke. And, and a freaking joke, you know what I mean? Because I'm out here being a bum, you know, not taking care of my biz, naive, and not focused on my plan and not focused on my relationship with God. You know what I'm saying? That shit will catch up to you, fellas. And trust me, a blessing before it's time will become a curse. So you got to remain focused on your path, man, because these demons out here ain't playing. That's why we got to stay prayed up. You feel me? Like, oh boy, this nigga, if you're an average Joe next door, you ain't even going to see those signs right there that's right in front of you that's why you got to stay prayed up but you got to stay focused kings when i came home you know what i mean i didn't have nothing i didn't have a pot to piss in you know i came back with the walk of shame like damn bro here we go again big marley mar but you know through the grace of god bro i found my purpose this is my purpose right here on this channel you know see my retention you know preaching about health is wealth you know what i mean and Coming up with a plan for success and building your relationship with God because God is everything, y'all. Without him, you're going to fall apart. He's the glue that holds everything together, man. All the glory and the praise goes to him. But like I said, when I came home, I didn't have a pot to piss in. And like uh, Nipsey Hussle said, most people are in survival mode. It's kill to be killed. You don't want to be in that mindset, bro. Nipsey said it the best. Get you some money and you're going to feel different, bro. I promise you, my boy, my guy, my broskies, get you some money, you're going to feel different. Get you a bag, man. Keep a knot in your pocket. Stop chasing these punani and tell, tell little shawty, sock it to my pocket. If she ain't paying, she ain't laying, meaning she got to pay to play. Your time is expensive. Why? Because you have built yourself up to this level of success, of obedience, of resilience, of the 1%, less than 1% club, bro. If you don't believe me, just look out in the world. How many people do you know that's retaining a seed? Can do it past a week, two weeks, a month, two months, three months, and on up. You know what I mean? Like, not many, bro. Not many at all. So I want you to understand, fellas, on this journey, the women gonna smell the pheromones on you, but keep your foot on the gas. You know what I'm saying? Keep your foot up on their neck and keep running up that check. Get you some money, like Nipsey said, and you gonna feel different. You know what I mean? You ain't gonna have to walk around all mad and angry and depressed and, you know, hating on the women. Hey, man, I love women with a passion because I know what to do with them. You know what I'm saying? I don't allow them to just walk all over me and do whatever. Nah, man, I'm a masculine man. I can express myself. I can talk to them. In a normal way, I can apply pressure. I can turn it up, turn it down. We are supposed to be able to adapt and adjust, fellas. And that's why women can smell it on you. Like, this man has intelligence, but he's not trying to be a goody two-shoe or holier than now because trust me, that stuff is fake because we human. We spiritual beings in the human body and we have to understand that at the end of the day, you're gonna make mistakes. Failure is a part of success. But it's only a temporary defeat if you keep on retaining your seed and applying pressure, transmuting it in a positive direction. With that being said, fellas, I love y'all. Y'all know the devil is in danger because we back with another banger. We finna get our car washed today. Of course, we doing some laundry. I'm finna go hit the gym and we finna go get this win, man. But I wanted to turn on this camera to motivate my kings. I fucking love y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I turn on this camera to motivate y'all to keep on keeping on, man. Don't be a follower, be a leader. And if you're not a leader, then follow somebody who can motivate your ass to go out 
and get some good results in life. You know why, King? Because you deserve it, man. It's only one of you with your fingerprint, bro. With your fingerprint. You know what I'm saying? You see that? It's only one of you with your fingerprint in this fucking universe, bro. Which means that you are something special. You are something incredible. But you have to unlock that and activate that within you because nobody else can do it for you. You can't help somebody who does not want to be helped. So put the effort into growing into the best version of yourself. And I promise you, you are going to become a diamond, a rock to a diamond. With that being said, I love y'all. If you made it this far to the video, shout out to my kings who are retaining their seed. Shout out to all the ladies who are on their celibacy journey. Y'all stay tuned for another episode. We coming back to back to back with these bangers. And I love y'all, man. Don't forget to drop a comment below. And ring that bell notification so we always stay connected. Share this video with your mama, your daddy, your auntie, your uncle, your brother, your sister. Y'all know my motto. I'm sending y'all peace, love, and blessings. And until next time, peace.